G'day YouTube. This video will quickly uh, give you a countdown of the top four media or music players on Ubuntu at the moment and I'll start from the top. At number four is Audacious. Now this one is just snuck in the end just because it's got a Winamp classic design interface on it. You can remove that and go back to the uh, GTK interface. Uh, it's pretty no frills but uh, the Everybody loves it, of course, for the uh, where is it? The Winamp interface, and it's rated really highly as a ro result. Just clearly, just because of that. Okay, number three is Clementine. Okay, now with this one, you can uh, listen to internet radio from Icecast, Groove Shark, Jamingo, uh, Last FM, Magnitude, just all of those ones, and Spotify as well. Uh, it's got sidebar information along with uh, song lyrics, statistics, artist biographies and pictures and it also graces you with a uh, an album or cover art as well which is great. It also gives you um, like smart dynamic playlists which is also very cool and uh, tabbed playlists that you can em uh, export or import as M3U and all the other famous ones. It has uh, support for the iPhone, the iPod and pretty much any music player you have, even a uh, an Android phone uh, and transcoding into MP3, that sort of thing. Now, number two is Rhythmbox. Now some people might not like this one but it is the default Ubuntu player for a reason, I guess, and it does have a lot of cool features. You can still do podcasts with it, internet radio. Um, it's actually inspired, the simple layout is inspired by iTunes as well. You can create playlists. Uh, there's loads of applet integration add-ons too, which is great. Uh, it's got last FM support, internet radio there, as you can see. The album cover art display as well, as you can see, and audio CD ripping. And number one, the top one, is a new entry, and it is Miro. Now, this one is the cream of the crop. It does the RSS-based channels. It's got internet television too, and you can add your sources in. Hulu and YouTube are just a just to name a few in there. And uh, it's also a fully-fledged BitTorrent client, which is really, really cool as well. Uh, it will play pretty much any video file or music file format uh, because it's based on the FFmpeg. Uh, it's, it's got uh, loads of podcasts uh, by default, but you can also add your own naturally. And uh, it also integrates the uh, RSS news aggregator and podcatcher, which is great. And uh, that's why this is number one. Playlist does everything. It does everything that you want and even a bit more. It's great. Miro. Cheers, guys.